I V M. Welcome to episode 76 of Shunya One. We have a really interesting conversation with Sanket Shah coming up. Sanket is the founder of InVideo. They're an interesting web video platform that helps a bunch of television channels in creating content really, really quickly. And they have a very, very interesting product. And we have a really interesting conversation around that. Also, guys, we had a great week on Slack. We had a lot of stuff happening over there. We asked the question on it: Which sector do you think requires more attention from venture capitalists? This was in reaction to Gaurav Bhattacharya being on the episode. previous the options were financial services food services travel and entertainment and this is probably the most split up kind of uh, poll that we've ever had almost uh, we've got responses to every single option and uh, they're all more or less even food services does win though which is i'm not sure what people are thinking that we need more food tech stuff but i guess we do but we had a couple of interesting uh, other comments on that as well and uh, so uh, osborne saldana said that he thinks more attention is required in healthcare and education as well not because it's good for everyone but large businesses can be built with very attractive returns which i think is a very interesting and on point so i agreed with him so agrawal one of our earlier guests, Yes, he had participated in this as well. He said he couldn't agree more with Osborne. Health, education, and finance services for the unbanked slash thin file are still big opportunities. Food, travel, and entertainment are frivolous in comparison. And then he tells me how he does not wish to offend me because, uh, well, we are doing an entertainment style startup. But uh, it's it's an interesting poll, and I think that we got some really interesting insight into what people are thinking around that. And uh, with that, let's move on with the conversation with Sanket. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Today we are talking to Sanket Shah, the founder of In Video. Uh, but before he tells us about that, welcome to the show, Sanket. Uh, I've known you for many years now. We have a lot of common connects, and of course, you've been a, another founder uh, based out of Bombay uh, over Correct. the years. Correct. But could you tell us your own story and how's it been, of you know, from the start, if you can? For sure, for sure. So. in college i realized that uh, you know i'm not interested in engineering i might not be good at anything else i was never good at sports look at me right <laughs> so uh, uh, and that's a common a, theme a, well actually no but uh, runner please be quiet <laughs> It's okay. Now, after the <laughs> life crisis, yes. But go on, sorry. So I, I mean, that's when I first started taking workshops in schools and colleges on robotics, ethical hacking, several other topics, and made some money. And I come from a privileged family, so money was not a problem. But I just loved doing it, right? So going through colleges, people cracking deals, and then taking workshops and taking some money back home, and then doing it again. So that's how it all actually started. I started taking workshops in colleges and schools. and then i went to the us um, uh, to get my master so i went to michigan ann arbor and then within the first two months i got an idea and that was to create non videos of non fiction books so basically a 10 minute video summary of non fiction books uh, they are actually live on itunes uh, they get sold for 3 dollars like sell around 100 copies a month you so still nice. do yeah i still it's just there since 2012 so uh, whoever buys buys and then whenever i hit that uh amount the money comes to the bank wow so uh and that is what visify books was actually how are you okay with how does copyright work in a system like that so uh ideas cannot be copyrighted okay. uh so people have gone on the record and spoken about how blinkist does it and a lot of blinkist mm-hmm. books are actually not they are not deals with the authors they right. can just take the ideas and actually create those books however i have only four books and all of them were copyright free okay. so i did classics like the art of war think and grow rich right. elements of style all are uh free all right, right right and right. you can do whatever you want and that is how i started with five books and i started as in i just hated doing what i did and for me going to the university was actually become more responsible uh, i couldn't i knew i wouldn't ever uh, get to iim abc and my next best alternative was go to the us so that you can go to a good school so i applied five i got one wow. right i applied sanford berkeley uh, Duke, uh, the Michigan, uh, the good schools, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, non-IV good schools, yeah. oh, non-IV no. IVs. You can say that, right? Well, Stanford, Duke, non-IV uh, IV. Correct. So I got through Michigan Ann Arbor, and I said that let's go. That is when I started Visify Books. Uh, by started, I mean I just started creating few books, and I got some fifty thousand dollar grant um, from college to create these books. Never in turn, so actually kept doing it. Had a co-founder. who was a designer uh, who used to create the books and then uh, a couple of people in india who helped with motion graphics and stuff uh, those books also were in youtube and they had millions of views actually 
however co founder had to uh, quit because he had to pay loans and we were not i mean my mindset was very different than what it is right now never really understood what scale means or what what business you could build i come from a gujarati family so the idea is danda danda hota hai matlab thoda paisa ban jaye baaki sab life mein chalega all right so uh, but that is when i i kept doing it for a year again right didn't in turn uh, kept doing it through the course uh it was hustle mode i didn't know what i was doing but i think that paid decently well uh, and then things didn't work so i took up a job uh, i only worked for a year uh, i was in the valley and then 6 7 months into that i said that i have to do this again uh, and that is when i contacted pankit who had just moved back uh, who is my co-founder right he had just moved back to india he used to be a friend's friend and i actually started looking for people who i can work with Mm-hmm. uh and just started pinging hundreds of people or f- say 35 odd people who i thought can do something with me and then i spoke to pankit and pankit was like i've just moved back join coupon dunia uh but i want to do something on my own so i was like okay then <laughs> let's start doing something and that is when uh we started uh, writing the first lines of codes for mass blurb uh completely out of context actually that you know i, I no idea what india is what how businesses in india are and just started doing something right building some amount of code in the night four five months into building that prototype uh, pankit could get a couple of customers in india so i quit my job in the us and moved back so i actually moved back from the day i decided i want to move back to moving back was 15 days wow uh, sold car leased the house moved back <laughs> um, and then so in fact my first day i met a vc uh, who is a seed investor and he said ki tum pagal ho एस एम बी सैस तो चलता नहीं है uh, <laughs> और मैंने बोला कि अब तो कर लिया अब तो करना पड़ेगा <laughs> मतलब इंडिया आ गया हूँ घर पे क्या बोलूंगा <laughs> क्या कर रहा है मतलब तो सो आई थॉट कि हाँ अब तो करना पड़ेगा एंड देन दैट इज वेन इट वॉज अ जर्नी वेर इन यू नो मास में वी थॉट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू विन द वर्ल्ड टू दैट इंडियन सैस बिजनेस आर डिफिकल्ट टू रन टू कैन वी सस्टेन विल वी सस्टेन बट दी ओनली गुड पार्ट अक्रॉस वॉज that we had business we had revenue so by the time we sold i think in in india very few companies uh, get to a place of 500 600 ki arr uh, within 17 months uh, of operations in small business saas it's difficult market uh, so what well, can you tell people a little bit about what the product was and so it was a restaurant software that uh, held them uh, it was a crm system uh, along with coupled with a lot of social media features that you can plug in and actually get done with agencies and uh, reduce the cost by 20% and keep using it nice so uh, that is what it was uh, we had roughly 350 brands mm. across india and it would account to around 1300 1400 outlets okay so uh, but it was a difficult business uh, overall and uh, and we just had that discussion right however we were very lucky uh, that movicon came in uh, they wanted to scale india and they acquired us we didn't tell what india is hmm. we took the money <laughs> <laughs> always so, take the money so yeah uh, and uh, but, but, uh, but you had real revenue so it we wasn't did have real, yeah were... we did have real revenue but uh, shila the the problem in life is that can you become large uh, can you become bigger overall uh, with respect to even creating value with respect to doing business right otherwise you are stuck and when you are stuck you just won't feel like getting up in the morning and going to work because it's all about sustaining and taking money home but i don't think that has ever been my uh, goal to right. take money home and to sustain or to you know to scale from a honda city to a, an audi no i don't think that i want to ever do that in life and uh, yeah and i think everyone who would be in such businesses will feel at times that you know hey you are stuck but i think that's okay and uh, movicon happened so that is actually my Uh, that is when i realized that serendipity is so important in life uh, i don't i think it's extremely important in life that you know you did what you could mm. and then everything else just came together and you have never thought that it would but it came right, right. and it happened so within a year of staying with mobicon uh, we moved on same founders to start in video mm. so uh, i think in video we are ex- I'm extremely positive excited as we speak uh, about what we have built already and uh what the future brings in uh because we feel that uh, uh you know you have wix to create websites and everyone in the world now uh, the claim is can create websites right. uh, with canva you can create designs we don't think that anyone has solved the problem rightly in video hmm. 
Now, will we be able to solve it or not? It's a secondary question. But our heads are down to right. solve that problem. We think that कुछ भी हो जाए करना है तो कर लेंगे. Correct. That's good, man. That's awesome. So that's how it is, and we're super excited. We are building some awesome technology uh, that's coupled with several several things and. Uh, Uh, the feeling of you know zero churn, uh, high impact product is felt day in and day out. Mm. And uh, you guys won't know, but Arna Goswami once went on uh, stage at Thai Global Summit and said that hey, Invideo has changed our lives. Mm. Uh, and you know we are able to scale video production, etc. Right, without right. Uh, and those are tiny validations. Uh, uh, we don't have any churn right now. It's been fourteen, fifteen months. Mm. Uh, and so are you selling to corporate customers or are you right selling now to we individuals? Are, right now we are selling to large B two B enterprises. B2B, right. uh, but uh, that's also because uh, you know the prosumer products uh, mm-hmm. need to be very crisp. Need right. to have a lot of lot more appeal mm-hmm. than just solve a problem, mm-hmm. uh, which takes time. Uh, and I am very impatient. <laughs> so. <laughs> So we started selling to uh, whoever bought, uh, right. and then we found a sweet spot in news, mm. wherein you have to do very quickly. You have to do quick turnarounds. You yeah. have to do quick turnarounds, and uh, they can pay because the they have money. We, no, they don't have money. Uh, yeah, have the, money. The, not exactly what I mean here. Mm. It's not about money for them. It's actually about uh, quality. Is it? It's answer. actually not because it, it it is speed and the amount of content. Mm. So if you go to a marketer, he will create five videos a day. You go to a news company, they'll create fifty videos a day. Oh. So uh, they pay more, right? So even if the per video cost might be much lower than what a marketer is willing to pay, right? The volume is very high, very high, and right. it just makes sense then. Right. So that so is you how. So your 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 uh, pricing model is based on how many videos created, uh, or it's. Uh, so I think uh, we are at a point that we are still experimenting. Uh, experimenting. Uh, ex- uh, understanding, but yeah, overall, in the end, it comes to number of videos created. Okay. That's the value proposition, right? Correct. Right? Ultimately, Correct. what you are giving. Correct. Right. But coming back to a little of the genesis of this idea, you while you said that it's an unsolved problem, that it's easy to make a website, it's easy to you know make create designs, and it's not easy to make videos from scratch. Why could you identify that as a big problem in the first place? Like, so uh, it actually ties it back to Visify books when we created videos right. of non-fiction <laughs> books, right? Yes. So uh, I always thought that the idea had potential. It's also because you know I was me. Ma- I'm still making ten grand a month, fifteen grand a month. Through iTunes, doing nothing in life, which meant people are buying. If people are buying, uh, if people are actually swiping their card, which means that uh, yes, there is a potential, right? Right. right. Uh, but the problem was that we were only able to create four good books hmm. in five six months. Right. Which meant that 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 was a problem, uh, and of course, when we decided that we want to leave Mobicon, uh, uh, we hurdled and said that hey, what do we do next? And there were a There were a couple of ideas mm-hmm. uh, that we uh, thought about, but this has always stayed with me uh, because I think that it got shut prematurely, mm-hmm. uh, and that is when I thought I convinced everyone that let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, there was no market sizing. There was no, you know, understanding the future of what video is. Uh, looking at Think- what. Think about a sales co-founder <laughs> and a tech co-founder. <laughs> tech guys can say yes easily. Yep. So, how can we make it? I mean, you say that the whole world will make a video. You say that yes, the whole world will make a video. It's a very big market size. Hai. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, why we did this. And what? How? Okay, this you're telling us now, but how did you sell this to your investors? Uh, so, and could you tell us how did you sell this to your investors? And could you tell us about a little bit about your investors? Also, through this initial phase. Uh, yeah, so that's why we did this. And could you tell us about a little bit about your investors also through this, uh, you know, various journeys? Like you're actually an exited entrepreneur. Correct. So you've actually returned capital. Uh, Some amount. <laughs> to your we did. We did. We returned more money than what we thought we ever would. So Correct. Yes. So how's your experience been in all of this? And again, now starting out something else. Good. Good. So I mean, with respect to investors, I think I've been extremely lucky. Uh, Maslow had investors who didn't bother us at all. Mm-hmm. This time I have investors who are extremely nice, and a lot of them are Maslow investors. So, but uh, so we count Mitain Sampat, uh, Japan Vyas, Ashish Tulsi, and uh, Ashish Imrajani, and uh, the best like Harish Chawla as investors, right? And it's amazing overall uh, to work with them. Uh, it was very difficult to actually sell to uh, a couple of them, uh, which includes Harish Chawla. So I act, so Harish said that hey I'm not investing in so we were doing a particular thing and Harish said that I don't think this will work. However, if you tweak this here, it will work. And we came out of the meeting saying that no, we might not want to do it. So he said then I'll pass and we can look look at later in the day. So I said that hey Harish, I've read your blogs, I've heard so much about you. How about this? I transfer twenty lakh rupees to you. 
you put 20 lakh rupees in the company and i offer you shares wow. and that is when he actually said that he will invest money and uh, he said that i'll start with a small amount when i will have jo doge chalega aapke bare mein bahut suna hai ab tak to perfect hai and then one day so we are we are at a vc who committed money uh, to us we are in bangalore and i just told her age that hey aisa sab ho raha hai to bola yaar chhodna main paisa de deta hu wo tum le lo kuch karenge to acche se karenge and then time spent with us uh, kept on increasing gradually and it's been an ama- he's like a co-founder uh, i think we are blessed to have harish uh, overall i think that uh, is just the you know you is a person you look up to overall and his insights are not superficial right his insights are to the crux so you know if a person is actually sitting with you understanding the problem for 25 30 minutes that's a lot of time before uh, before suggesting ye karna chahiye tha and after running he would have run 50 60 com- companies and said network agent why come right. right still sit with you you'll never feel that he is actually right. you know he was the C- ceo of that company and uh, whatever he has achieved is very normal and he deep di- he actually deep dives and it's overall amazing journey and that's actually a story that you know persistence helps right so uh, harish ko yahi bola tha humne and then he said yes and then uh, it's also funny that we have so siddharth on web chutney has an, again invested smaller amounts harish is large amount overall but uh, everyone harish sent to uh, for taking advice ki overall right. you know contents with me said yaar bahut acha aadmi hai they all invested money actually so wow. uh, siddharth has told me that this is the first time when harish invested first and i invested after that usually i invest so that harish will oh <laughs> so ha <interesting. laughs> but uh, uh, it's uh, so i think first uh, getting some traction on the round was not very difficult because uh, the maslow uh, investors backed us mm-hmm. and then you can uh, raise decent amount of money in india today if you know if you're genuine and you know you, you they, they might just realize that kuch to kar lega and fight to mar lega second time around is, does it get easier no it's not yaar so <laughs> we raised uh, another round recently and uh, i would have knocked several doors uh, before raising the round and i knocked several doors yeah yeah and and nothing wrong with the company according to me but i think i sometimes also think that i am not the best founder to raise money maybe or mm, because I, you look at revenue i don't know what the problem <laughs> i i really don't know uh, but I, i think that we have fin- overall fantastic metric i don't think there is anything wrong with the team mm-hmm. uh but uh, you know few people can few people can't uh, maybe I, i have to let the product speak overall and right. then we will but it's like heads down kar rahe karte jayenge ho jayega nice <laughs> type matlab ko hona hi matlab this so actually this again right so i, I we just spoke about uh, during difficult times what happens so pehle uh, at maslow also during difficult times kuch nahi ghar pe do pack laga ke so jao abhi yahi karte hai par harish ko phone karte hai harish bolta hai yaar dekh upar wale ke ghar pe andher nahi hota tum kaam karo just sleep thinking that we tum kar loge nahi 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 sleep thinking that you're satisfied with whatever you could do right and then you just leave it and then it is i think become much simpler and overall i think mithen uh, i think kanchan is uh, uh, go to person for everything from pro- personal to professional problems and i keep kidding about you know you are a part of our heart table and not cap table uh. so so kanchan is a go to person overall i think bunch of really good folks help uh, it's not just investors but also people like kanchan who come around and yeah uh, this whole the the help you community is really tight yeah. yeah it's it's fun overall nice but coming back to again i'm just trying to see what you know all these experiences which you've gone through which are fairly unique in a lot of ways like you've grown fast you've st- uh, done something in smb saas which was mm. unique you sold the company you starting another one again unique so uh what are the learnings in your interactions with uh, so let's say during your acquisition as well correct uh, you know what what could you teach someone else who is who might come across such a you know opportunity someday so i actually you know uh, went out to write a blog with uh, several pointers uh, my acquisition wasn't very large but it was definitely life changing for me personally allows me to take a lot of risk it was definitely i think life changing for me overall with respect to money and of course experience also so uh, i can't comment about the larger acquisitions but the smaller acquisitions i think are where you optimize the right things uh, and not the wrong ones so uh, the first thing that i've learned during acquisitions and overall is that you never take control uh, you give control for the people who have done it uh, because they have been doing it they would know more uh, about how things work uh, 
what what, uh, what do you mean by that so uh, for example uh, one of the teams uh, where uh, pankit i or pankit harsh or i didn't have any control saw a churn of around 70% within the first four months Oh, okay. Uh, but the teams that we were in uh, never saw a churn till we left, or maybe churn of like five ten percent people leaving, when and which is normal, right? But the other team saw seventy percent change. So such things happen. But uh, you have to give control overall. Uh, I think that's one very very important thing. The second thing is, uh, I think people a lot of times optimize wrong metrics. Uh, you want to show different things, uh, but yeah, again, business is business. If you can do well. uh you i think get you raise money for the size of how well you can do hmm. versus you know th- what your current space is correct correct it's uh, but your other metrics have to be right i think those are the most important points and of course acquisitions are very tough primarily because so i think that in last 5 6 years of i've been doing something with respect to business that one year took a mental toll on me and yeah. i was however i was working the least <laughs> ठीक है even even after you're talking about post working, a lot of money i've never seen this much salary ever in my life matlab us ka salary convert karoge to barabar hai matlab par nahi to i've not seen this much money coming flowing into your bank every single month and we in fact left uh, in a year instead of two years mm-hmm. uh, but i i don't i think that acquisitions are tough because you have to let the entity survive on its own for a while mm. and you know you can't keep integrating very quickly it takes time you have to give it that time it's just the breathing space uh, learning time that it takes uh, and it depends right uh, and i would rightly say that we also had to jump on it mm-hmm. so we jumped on it and it what happened happened but i think that overall uh, samir acquired us right uh, very persistent guy has the heart at the right place and everything else is what happens is very circumstantial hmm. and it happens i had my interests he had his at some point i think that uh, you know we aligned and our both our interests were actually towards the company and hmm. nothing more but uh, such things happen uh, there there leadership teams right at companies yeah. now i i was 26 when the company got acquired hmm. it's very difficult for a 40 year old or a 35 year old to actually let sanket or pankit sit in the board meeting yeah uh, when you know it took them years to actually earn that trust of a founder it's Correct. very common and such things happen i don't think it's unusual it's not about a bad person i think i would have reacted in a very similar way but yeah. uh, it's just all of that combined but one thing i i'm very overall you know impatient sometimes hyper one thing i have learned is uh, yeah people are people you have hmm. to treat them like that uh, that uh, yeah, they will have their own personality yeah. regardless of what you try no, i i think actually that's not what i'm trying to say exactly are people are people you have to be nice to them overall yeah and sometimes even i miss doing that right you react yeah. i i react very often and uh, but that is my learning overall that every time when i have taken two steps back simulated a conversation for 5 minutes and had it mm-hmm. it's been amazing mm-hmm. instead the of problem, just the problem is i can't do it 90% of the time <laughs> 90% of the time it's more like ki yaar kya paka raha hai pagal ho gaya hai kya <laughs> versus isko abhi ye bolna chahiye wo nahi hota i've been trying extremely hard people who know me since 5 years will say that there's some change but there's miles to go with that <laughs> nice nice interesting all right on that note we're going to take a quick break come back and talk some more Hey everybody it's another great week on IVM podcast if you're not following us on social media please do we're IVM podcast on Twitter Facebook and Instagram also please remember to tell a friend about podcasting we really want you to spread the word you are our biggest ambassadors i tell you every week this week on Cyrus says we have creative director and producer Joel Pereira Joel talks about working across platforms like TV print and digital on simplify this week Chuck Narain and Trika do an episode on China and its relationship with India and other neighboring countries On the scene in the unseen of it Verma decodes the ILNFS crisis India's banking system and regulatory regime with journalist Vivek Kaul and economist Ashutosh Datar. This week on Shunya one Shilo Datar and I talked to Sanket Shah about Invideo and the amazing journey that they've had over there. On Geek Fruit Jishnu and Tejas embark on a hot take fiesta of Will Smith's entire career and give the definitive ranking of all his movies. On the Kinetic Living podcast Coach Food me spoke to Ashton Doctor who is a habit coach. Listen to this episode to find out his interesting insights on eating fruits. And with that let's go on with your shows. All right, welcome back. We've been talking to Sanket about all the cool stuff that has happened in his life through uh, one exit, multiple startups and of course uh, in video which you're doing today. To get a little bit into uh, you know what exactly is the tech that you've built to power in video. Could you tell us a little bit about? For sure. And so firstly all most of the tech 
so we actually created the most minimal viable product when we actually ended up selling to republic tv uh it, it was minimal okay and we actually started building all the tech with customers in fact i sat out of republic tv for 2 months operated the product with their people to understand what were the problems wow and uh, my four founders have done that as well uh, i've sat at cnbc newsroom for a month uh, in and out every day Wow. day over day and you know create videos help them or whenever it doesn't work you say that hey don't worry i'll take over and then do it so all of uh, the tech that we built came from the feedback of customers understanding however the core idea here is think about when a person is building a video he needs images or videos which he needs to actually have a look at once yeah which doesn't happen how how does a videographer do it today he goes out does a google search or does a shutterstock search or does a talk library search finds the image downloads it puts it on after effects and builds it or, or premiere pro right we said that hey if this is a sentence this is what i am going to visualize mm-hmm. this is how it should be visualized here are all the images available for this mm-hmm. you know if you're talking about virat kohli you are going to take a virat kohli shot yeah here is the best shot according to us here are 15 other shots second problem your colors have to remain consistent across the video and you know with video packaging and there are certain things that cannot go off why does a user have to keep doing it keep changing color why does a user have to download images when he can look at everything together uh, why does a user have to go find the right icon if you are creating this kind of video this is the music you don't need to change the music or uh, change the uh, video frames depending on uh you know after listening to music it can happen automatically it's bpm so we can track you can track the bpm you can understand where the best cut is and that is how you shift if you're creating a serious kind of video here are only 15 types of transitions people can do across the world why does he have to download a transition you know transition Library, put right. it yeah and people like you and me can never actually go uh and do all of these things so we dumbed it down we said that hey for a normal user or even for a professional user you don't need to do all this why it's just painful it's mundane so when you are a lot doing of grunt something work, yeah yeah and whatever you are doing right you want to actually focus on a good storytelling a mm-hmm. good video why do you have to do all the cl- clerical work or all the mundane tasks day in and day out ye frame ko aise bahar nikalna hai ye isko ye aana chahiye isko transition aise de do nahi ye it can happen automatically uh, it's a creative process right. you focus on creativity will solve all the other problems for you you don't have to if you take a box it will take the color of your video you don't have to keep changing the color and trying out and get the right combination or enter the color of the cool, right? so all of those things the other most obvious thing is what when you are doing all of this is simple right the text can never come on the face hmm. uh, or it and you know in tensorflow you can actually find all of this pretty easily and then uh, quickly build it out to make sure that it never comes on the face uh, on the face right if it's a photo what can you do you can pan it you can zoom it you can you can scroll it there are only limited functions actually right that you can do and it is dependent on image it is dependent on the video it is dependent on on the media that you are using which is easy to do so, why do you need to do it so compared to something like premiere pro or something like that Absolutely. Know, this would be basically 80 20 model you have the functions which 80% of people are using for perfect. most of the time perfect right absolutely okay exactly yeah. correct exactly that yeah but uh, we also have certain advanced functions uh, yeah. around 15% of them uh, we ended up building them right however uh, it's the principle is what exactly exactly what you said yeah and uh, that's how things are uh, overall that whatever you need is right there uh, now just pick it up put it will actually put it for you hmm. and so then you say that you automate that part also correct you can uh, to a very large extent because you already have uh, so how videos are created overall is that you already have it in mind what you want right? right and then we can let you start somewhere where you don't have to build everything from scratch right and uh, th- those are the things that we built which are extremely complicated overall uh because uh, you know you are doing multiple functions uh, together i was actually interacting with the v- uh, my tech team were uh, talking to vp of browser stack vp technology and he said it's a very high uh, you know it's it's a complicated software because you are doing multiple functions at once In and the it background, has to yeah. correct and it has to come out together 
so it's very difficult to do all of those things and those are the capabilities you have built uh, with respect to tech right and with respect to tech uh, it might sound very basic but um, uh, they are only basic in hindsight and uh, apparently uh, overall they are very complicated because you know you reduce the size of the image you show something you render something else but what you but it is about what you see is what you get mm-hmm. but you want to put out a high quality output so handling all those functions loading the right things together uh, are things that uh, we have overall accomplished and i think simplest feature that no one in the world has uh, today uh, and we have handful competitors uh, who do good job at letting you create a gold standard video versus letting you create a text powerpoint presentation uh, <laughs> is that you know uh, you want to put a tweet how how does an animator put a tweet he has to go to the tweet take a cut out and then animate it right. and put graphics we said that hey just put the link right and you'll do it because it's it's a tweet yeah, it's so a you box can pull it, yeah it's yeah. a box embedded over something and yeah. you're done you don't need to go through the hassle and all the tech has actually come around that and um, it's fairly complicated because we have we have a tech team of around 13 14 people and we interact with them day in and day out and uh, i with my co-founders and uh, all of that together and they at times feel that wow we are solving some really really complicated thing and now we realize that companies who allow you to create powerpoint presentations in the form of video never did this because it's actually complicated if i knew it was so complicated i wouldn't have done it but uh, there no buzzwords overall uh, we do things that are overall required and things that can be built very easily are built very easily uh, mm-hmm. unless it requires a core feature that you have to do it the right way but uh, tensorflow libraries are used uh, things that are available are already used they are never built from scratch but the core engine is always built from scratch that was required that that gives us scalability overall so how do you handle encoding videos i mean like for the final output video you you have to encode those videos right with all of these different bells and whistles that you're putting in Correct. how is that handled is that in the cloud or, or so that happens in the cloud okay. uh, that happens in the cloud for the most part so even apple prores is created on the cloud uh, however uh, we we are working with a couple of tv channels uh, mm. where the file sizes actually go uh, very large uh, right. when you're creating tv videos and that is when we actually take uh, encoding uh, to the uh, we just use some third party encoders okay. and not take it up on ourselves because the uploading and downloading functions are right. 500 mb worth and just not worth doing right. that so we actually in those cases we just download a normal that's file what, and that's what that's what I was asking because i mean like it felt like the overhead on upload download in indian internet correct would not justify or maybe not just justify the wrong word but that felt like it would be a bottleneck and i mean like you know the correct. fact that you're speeding things up and then you have to upload and code download uh-huh. so a lot of times we actually do end to end integrations wherein we just send the file to the destination okay so uh, encode it in that format right if okay. uh, whenever that's possible so uh, we have a large, large contract with a very large music company hmm. and it directly goes to their systems uh, there is no human interface there right We just push it out to their systems, and that is how uh, large files can be solved. Okay. If they are also going to host on the cloud, right, uh, right. I mean, so digital, if, if it is all digital, digital correct, if correct, it's all correct, cloud, then it's fine. Right? But if you have to correct. go in through a broadcasting yeah. system, then that point it needs to go analog and then goes digital. Correct. Right? So some not correct. analog, but it has not to go analog, but in a different system, format, and then it has to go through the system. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Right. Cool. Ah, so that these are obviously things you did you know going in, or you f- sort of found yeah, out that inefficiencies teach you, right? in the customers system. Customers teach you, right? Uh, yeah. Whenever you, I mean, um, I think both of us will know exactly what the customer says, <laughs> and then you go back and say that hey, ये करना पड़ेगा. Yeah. And then you try to convince them that they should do it. Yeah. So the customers always right. Yes. Uh, so now we have. now we have started putting our foot down at times that hey we are not going to build this so a very stupid request came in one day that i want to delete whatever i upload okay. and that is when we said that hey listen <laughs> we're not doing this <laughs> back off i don't even understand that so yeah okay so at times you want to upload uh, a video of your uh, right. our library can't find a video so right. you upload yours no he said i want to delete what i upload Why? Okay. <laughs> Such things, I, it happened, and we oh. said that no, yeah. we're not doing it. That's yeah, that just sounds weird. Yeah, and th- there's no limit to all of that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, but uh, it's been very fun. It's been taxing. I think getting the flow right uh, with respect to UI UX was very difficult when it comes to tech. Uh, in what Invideo has actually taught me to a very large extent is uh, an eye for design. Uh, I don't think India has good designers overall. Uh, User experience designers. 
UX design? Just about any design. Uh, how often have you seen a designer talk about font? When yeah. designers in the UK or the US will obsess over it. Yeah. Right? Uh, how often do you, you know, speak about things that are so beautiful? It will just make things. So uh, the the good part about design that I've learned is that you can't actually say what is wrong, mm-hmm. but your brain tells that something is off. Yeah. Right. And you and you that can't and that is good design. Yeah. So we actually ended up hiring a designer in the UK. Uh, he did designs for us. It meant spending a bomb, but. It meant what it meant because uh, when we create, when someone creates videos on a platform, uh, we want to be an inspiration to them. Uh, if I would be some other product, I would have gotten away with saying that, hey, you don't need this. But, uh, you know, you are saying that, hey, do a good creative job on this interface and it's almost wrong. Right. So uh, those things actually came around. We started focusing a lot on good design, what it looks like. Why should you do it? And then uh, it's actually a cycle where, you, you know, you realize that, hey, look at how Dropbox does this. Yeah. Uh, and that is when, you know, it all came around. But uh, with respect to tech, uh, I don't do any tech. I've not written a single line of code. Uh, so, but Punkit and Harsh, and of course, I trust them a lot. Uh, it's trusting them with my life, right? So, <laughs> they say it's extremely difficult. Uh, and what we are going on to achieve is not allow you to create videos. But uh, if you look at any video uh, designer, uh, they will take inspirations and there will be After Effects or uh, Premiere Pro files that people will download. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we Which want are to go ready made. And right, right. right. So, kind of stuff, yeah. Correct. And then you edit those things, right? So uh, we are actually almost coming up with that wherein people can create their own templates very mm. quickly. So your designer can actually make a mock-up design right. that this is how it should look like this is how my brand is so actually assemble it on the software hmm. and pass it on and those are the flexibility so we said 80-20 but we have made it very open overall to let you play around with things right. and those are the core things that we actually ended up building and saying that hey let's not build any of those things uh, and let's uh, take inspiration from others or uh, take open source stuff but this is our crux. Hmm. We have to build it right so that it allows scalability. And we feel that it is already allowing us that flexibility without doing any servicing. Right. So even though, and we, of course, we tell the client that it's servicing and we charge, don't, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but uh, we have actually said that, hey, we don't need a very skillful guy okay. who can just do this very quickly. And he does it pretty quickly and just gives it over in half an hour. Nice. So, uh, those are the things that, uh, and overall, handling video on a browser itself is, is a tough, man. Tough, yeah. <laughs> if you would be in 2012, people would say that you can't do it yeah. on the browser. Browsers are matured, but think about it like pulling 15 images. Yeah. Uh, we also say that, hey, uh, you know, if you're creating a presentation, uh, you can show one thing in five different ways. So, we say that, hey, open the variations. Mm-hmm. And you can just open the variations and it will show you that this frame can be also be shown in X, Y and Z ways. Just imagine, right? This is the sheer memory load itself is nuts. It is, it is. And it used to go very high and now we have figured out to uh, actually keep it very... So we uh, track Chrome, all of that. Chrome isn't known for uh, keeping being memory, memory. So maybe friendly. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But, no, but we have figured different ways out. So, you know... Sure. Uh, is yeah, it yeah. Uh, browser uh, agnostic? No, 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 it's not. So it's we not. only let you use Chrome. Okay. So we only let you, uh, because we couldn't optimize for our yeah, browsers. So we only yeah, that's, did for That's Chrome. what I was wondering. Correct. Yeah. So just think about it, right? To if, if you ever spoke, uh, if you ever speak to a video editor, he will say video ban gaya, render ho raha hai, 40 minute lagega. Huh. Huh. Here, we say preview, preview starts in three seconds. On a browser, everything comes together like that. It's fairly difficult to do it. Yeah. But keeping all of that in mind, uh, you know, away Product market fit and getting revenue is one of the most important things overall. Uh, doesn't matter. You can. It's almost intellectual masturbation that all engineers in the world want to do. Uh, right, but yeah. you have to stop them and say that, hey. So, in fact, today before coming, uh, I don't, as a salesperson, I never say this. But I say no more features. Please. But no, <laughs> nothing. We are not building anything anymore. It's enough. What we have is good enough. To go and you know it's a vicious cycle where you want to keep doing things and you always uh, think that you're more, not yeah. there and but we have good clients but now we want to overall we think that we can open it up yeah. so you are going to go to the consumer 
Uh, not to the consumer exactly. But so prosumer. it's not going to be. Uh, yeah, correct. I mean, uh, we right, have a lot the of. That he used earlier. Correct. That's what people say. Uh, but <laughs> overall, think about it, right? Uh, nothing stops Clever Tap from creating videos on our software, but they right. are only going to create four videos a month. And right. We have to come up with plans. There's a flow. Uh, you have to. You have to hit make the, sure. The, hit the right market, basically. Hit the market which one needs it the most. But the innate things are very difficult, right? You have to have so much eye for detail hmm. uh, when you are hitting. Prosum- and that is actually what. Companies in the US or Israel or UK does. Yeah, uh, we aspire to become yeah, them right now. Yeah. Can you give examples? Uh, just eye for detail in general. No, right? any, when any. you're talking about companies in the US, we are aspiring so, to. So overall, as a design, uh, you know, people, designers don't like Canva, but I think Canva has done a yeah. fabulous job yeah, with what yeah, they're able is. to build yeah. for people like you and me. Yeah. Uh, that's one that I think is amazing. I feel that... Uh, Overall, Airbnb has done a superb job. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. More recently, I came across Beautiful.ai uh, to create decks. And I, I think, think that, I've seen that as well. And I that's, think that that, it's, that's it's the sleek. new, yeah, that's, yeah, it's I've seen sleek, that. It's sleek, it's nice. They take, you know, they take $5 million in three years to build something that's very basic according to us. Mm. But when you use it, you know that this is why mm. they took so much time. And but that's also to do with uh, this is what I feel that that's also to do with Indians. We live with families, you know. We 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 are just used to chaos. <laughs> that <laughs> clearly shows in our uh, products. Yeah. Uh, Americans live alone, extremely yeah. focused. They do one thing, yeah. and the market sizes there are very different than mm. what we see in India. But yeah, I think that they're very focused overall, and so yeah, they our are. Products able to are do a reflection way. of ourselves. That a lot is of true. I mean, like uh, you, I mean, like I, I remember seeing this really crazy uh, screenshot of the difference between e-commerce sites in India, China, and uh, Japan, and uh, the Correct. US. And China would be full of clutter. China is full of clutter. Everything is shiny. There are lots of like kind of flashy things going on. It's like, hey, buy here, buy here. You know, they're like those kind of red flashing kind Correct. of lights and stuff like that. Mm. India somewhere between the two but I mean like still fairly cluttered compared to like you know the classic experiences that uh, you see in Western Europe and the US wow I don't know where that came from but all the more power to you Sanket and trying uh, to make this work I'm sure I mean I am hope to try out the product someday uh, for sure and I'm sure the newsrooms all over the world and all your other audiences will also how are you hiring 15 hardcore engineering people in Bombay to be very honest I have two three subscriptions so Hirest uh, is one Insta is another I cold call I cold call nice so recently we were hiring a designer uh, a senior designer actually people got calls at 9.30pm on a Friday night yeah. and I was like hey <laughs> I'm calling because I'm looking for this. I like your profile. Can we talk? But I I think uh, 40, 50, I I think that's also built across the company. So whenever, uh, so the first times when I was not very busy, when we were building is when I used to cold call, uh, do the first round and then uh, pass it on to Pankit and Harsh. Now Pankit has also started. I I think it's a good habit to cold call uh, people and yeah. Catch them off. And when you're, and when you're, when you're small, uh, I think it's nice that, you know, the founder calls and saves 8%. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's actually good because, uh, you know, you're trying to sell. We didn't have a website when we are five engineers. Yeah. And you have to sell to engineers to come of say course. that, hey, I'm a better bet. And yeah. this is why I'm a better bet. And I think that no one does that job better than me during that time. I mean, I can tell that, hey, listen, I'm calling you. I'm telling you, please join me because this is our vision. This is what I'm going to do. Yes. Uh, this is what we are trying to do. We might no, be nowhere close, but let's do it. I actually, 80%, 70% of the hires are cold calls and 30% of the hires are uh, referrals. Um, hmm. I, we have never actually hired an agency uh, yeah. ever because I think it's a lot of money to pay. It is. Yes. One month, it feels, it pinches, <laughs> man. Yeah, I, I just cold call. Dude, 3,500 rupees for the subscription. Nice. For a month, it's just cold call. Nice. That, that seems like a good piece of advice I'm going to do that <laughs> I, I know it always works yeah. You're, uh, my agenda is simple right I'm going to make 40 calls today hmm. if you can't hire one guy out of 40 calls you will be able to I mean there's no way there's, in yeah. the world you will not be able to you will be able to there's, uh, yeah. I just can bet whatever you want that's true, true, true so true. that's what uh, we do overall. awesome awesome thanks so much uh, for doing this Sanket uh, where can folks uh, talk to you maybe on Twitter 
Correct. So I'm at uh, Sanket underscore in video. I actually keep changing the underscore whenever I start. Change another company. Change a company or whatever, right? So I just, uh, my underscore <laughs> after that is usually the company name. Last time it was Maslow. Now it's in video. Awesome. So yeah. Great. So let's hope uh, folks can reach you there. And of course, uh, you can also join our Slack channel. We have one for this show. Yes, we, we do. To. It's on ivmpodcast.com slash shunya1. Over there, there's a button saying join our Slack channel. You see, send us your email address and we'll send you an invitation. Sure, I'll do it right away. <laughs> yes. So if you want to talk to Sankit, please join the Slack channel, you guys too. All right yeah. then, thanks so much uh, thanks and guys. listening. Of course, give us uh, good reviews wherever you get your podcasts yeah, on yes, iTunes, very on, important. Uh, on the Google Podcast uh, app. I don't think Google Podcast has reviews yet, but iTunes has them, CastBox has them, Salmon has them. So wherever you can, YouTube has them, wherever you can. Reviews yes. help. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. And listen to you guys next week. Did you know that Parsis in Mumbai, instead of being left at the Tower of Silence after they die, are now cremated? And why? Because a cow fell sick in the early 1990s. Did you know that the smog in Delhi is caused by something that farmers in Punjab do and that there's no way to stop them? Did you know that there wasn't one gas tragedy in Bhopal, but three? One of them was seen, but two were unseen. Did you know that many well-intentioned government policies hurt the people they're supposed to help? Why was demonetization a bad idea? How should GST have been implemented? Why are all our politicians so corrupt when not all of them are bad people? I'm Amit Varma and in my weekly podcast, The Seen and the Unseen, I take a shot at answering all these questions and many more. I aim to go beyond the scene and show you the unseen effects of public policy and private action. I speak to experts on economics, political philosophy, cognitive neuroscience and constitutional law so that the insights can blow not only my mind but also yours. The Seen and the Unseen releases every Monday. So do check out the archives and follow the show at seenunseen.in. You can also subscribe to The Seen and the Unseen on whatever podcast app you happen to prefer. Look up in the internet. It's a meme. No, it's a cat video. No, it's the Geek Fruit Podcast. That's right. We interrupt this riveting broadcast to tell you about our show, the Geek Fruit Podcast, where Tejas, Dinkar, and I, Jishnu, talk about everything in pop culture, including DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Netflix, and everything in between. You know how your friends hate it when you ramble about some nerdy crap and you just want somebody to listen to you? Well, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that, but come listen to us ramble and it'll almost be like the real thing. Kind of. Listen to new episodes of the Geek Fruit Podcast every Monday and the Geek Fruit Bulletin every Thursday on iTunes, Google Podcasts.